We live in a time where we are constantly bombarded by an endless stream of information. For the first time in human history, knowledge is not only available but accessible at any moment. Paradoxically, most people lack an effective system to sort through this flood of information and resources, continuing to live their lives without fully tapping into its potential. The human brain is an extraordinary machine, capable of understanding the world through continuous learning. No matter our age, we never stop learning, storing information, and improving ourselves. This ability comes from brain plasticity. Every day, new neural connections are formed, allowing us to create and instantly access memories. However, the brain has its biological limits. While its memory is exceptionally plastic, it's impossible for a person to instantly recall all their memories. On average, people forget 50% of the information they've just learned within the first few hours. After one day, about 70% of that information may be forgotten if it hasn't been reinforced. Over time, we can forget between 80% and 99% of what we've learned. But what if we could organize all our cognitive resources into a simple, accessible system? One that allows us to access them instantly. Before we continue, you'll find a link in the description to a free Notion template that you can use to start building your second brain right away. At the end of the video, I'll explain why I believe Notion is the best tool for this purpose. The concept of the second brain is based on a simple observation. Our biological brain alone is no longer sufficient in a hyper-competitive world where technology plays an increasingly central role. A second brain could revolutionize the way we operate by leveraging technology wisely to help us navigate this constant flow of information rather than letting it overwhelm us. Our biological brain evolved in an environment of scarcity where every visual or auditory cue could mean the difference between life and death. Today, however, we face a world of abundance, completely different from what our ancestors experienced. This shift in our environment calls for adaptation and the second brain is the answer to that challenge. Tiago Forte explores this concept in his book, Building a Second Brain, highlighting the importance of offloading our mental space through the organization and management of digital information. More than just a journal for unloading thoughts, the second brain takes a more structured approach, allowing us to easily retrieve previously captured information and repurpose it for organized projects. This method aims to help those who cultivate a second brain become far more resilient to the stress caused by forgetfulness and information overload. The use of technology to enhance our cognitive abilities is part of a broader reflection on the extension of the mind. Marshall McLuhan, a prolific philosopher and theorist of the 1960s, argued that technologies are merely extensions of human consciousness, reflecting our innate desire to amplify our abilities. We constantly strive to be stronger, faster, go farther, see more, and hear better, and tools which evolve into technologies act as catalysts to enhance our natural capabilities. The second brain is a modern metaphor for this concept, a technology-driven system that extends the natural capacities of our biological brain. More broadly, the increasing flow of information in our daily lives has been widely discussed by Herbert Simon, a 20th century economist and cognitive scientist, who introduced the concept of cognitive overload. He argued that an excess of information makes decision-making more challenging. In this context, the second brain offers a practical solution, especially since Simon believed that the best way to study problem solving was by using computers. This belief led to what he called artificial thinking during the Dartmouth Conference in 1956, considered the birth of artificial intelligence as a field of study. Even in ancient philosophy, Plato explored the relationship between memory, knowledge, and identity, particularly in Phaedrus, where he criticized writing as a means of degrading human memory. He argued that it's better to stimulate the brain through natural interactions as writing could make people less capable of recalling information on their own. This is precisely the principle behind the second brain. Offloading the surplus of information from the biological brain 
allowing it to focus on what it does best, creating, imagining, and solving problems. But what can we realistically expect from a second brain beyond simply avoiding forgetting our resources? Is it truly worth the effort to gather information and data into one or more databases to create such a tool? The key lies in not viewing the second brain as just a collection of thoughts, but approaching it with a clear strategy. Why do you want to develop a second brain? Is it to successfully complete one or more creative projects? To structure and deepen your passion for literature? Or perhaps to better manage your client projects? The more specific you are, the more meaningful and truly useful your second brain will become. What matters isn't just the process, but the intention behind it. Notion is the perfect tool for building a second brain, thanks to its flexibility and its ability to centralize all your information in one place. It allows you to capture ideas, notes, or resources on the fly, and then organize them into customizable databases tailored to your specific needs. The relationships between databases, filters, and tags function like neural links, enabling you to quickly find the information you need, even amid a large volume of data. By integrating capture tools like extensions or complementary apps, you can literally supercharge your productivity. This makes the experience not only efficient, but also enjoyable, turning information organization into an engaging process. Although the starting structure may be similar for everyone, each second brain is unique and reflects the personality, needs, and ambitions of its user. Think of it like a garden, a living space where plants need to be nourished, grow with care, and become an endless source of inspiration and creativity. By cultivating your second brain, you're creating an ecosystem that you can rely on to enrich your ideas and bring your projects to life.